Los Angeles, Hollywood, Beverly Hills, all famous cities. Their names are known throughout the world. I was on my way up the coast to another famous place, Malibu Beach, a resort filled with artists, millionaires, and retired astronomers. I was going to see a man named Brian Race. It was a peculiar day. One minute it was foggy, the next moment the sun would break through. The first time I met Brian Race was years before. It was in a casino where he was busily losing his money. It didn't seem to bother him. In fact, he was enjoying it. I met him again on the beach at Miami. He was playing at his favorite sport, skin diving. But I thought he was kidding. The other day I bumped into Brian Race at the beach club in Santa Monica. He was busy trying to knock himself out playing volleyball. He greeted me like a long-lost relative and invited me to be his house guest for the weekend. Brian Race, in a way, interested me, so I accepted his invitation. The activities at Malibu Beach include swimming, painting, writing, and occasional fights. I found Brian Race's house. It was big. And then I had the feeling it was unhealthy. down the hallway and before she introduced herself I felt she spelled trouble you could have capitalized the word trouble hello uh, you must be Michael Lanyard yeah, that's right oh we've been expecting you I'm uh, Laurie Wraith oh I didn't know Brian had married well don't feel badly we're still what you might call honeymooners Brian's in the study don't let him keep you I I want you to meet our other guests. We'll be out by the pool. Fine. I won't be long. Mike. <laughs> Roger, you could come. Thanks. Promise you an enjoyable weekend. Sit down. What's up? Have I done any skin diving? You mean flippers, goggles, and a spear? Yeah, great spot for it here in Malibu with the water so warm and clear. Well, maybe I'll try it if you have some equipment. Oh, plenty of equipment. Flippers, masks, spears, everything. Know anything about jewelry? Oh, I've seen some. My father collected it. Diamonds, mostly. How do you feel about modern art? Well, we were talking about diamonds. You think diamonds and modern art go together? Oh, I don't know. Why? I don't. Laurie does. Mike... I want to show you something. Study it. What does it say to you? So far, it hasn't said a thing. What's it supposed to be? My wife. Penny is called Wife Malibu, California. I see. Of course, it's not objective. Well, definitely not objective. Your wife posed for it. Of course. Who was the artist? Arturo Rienzi. You'll meet him. I don't particularly care for him. I'm worried, Mike. I paid $25,000 for those paintings. Oh, it isn't the money that worries me. It makes my wife happy. But the jewel collection is extremely valuable. I wouldn't want anything to happen that might be embarrassing. That's why I impose upon you. It's rather like having a watchdog about. <laughs> Where do you keep the collection? Well, usually the bank. But I went to the vault this morning, got them out. They're here now. Would you like to see them? Of course. I may not know much about this type of art, but diamonds I know about. small part of the collection, but they're the most valuable pieces. I don't know, Arturo's going to do the painting here, so perhaps I'm wrong. 
Maybe there's really nothing to worry about. That's living in a dream world, Brian. Why do you say that? When you've got stuff like this around, you've got something to worry about. The ocean was only a few hundred feet away, but maybe the ocean was too primitive for these people. We had luncheon at the pool. I kept looking at the group of guests that Brian Race had gathered for the weekend. They were strange people. In their own way, each appeared to be playing a part. Laurie looked preoccupied. She wore the expression of someone who wanted to go somewhere. Then, Dr. Glopius, an art critic. The most interesting thing about him, I thought, was the dame who was always at his side. Indra's expression hadn't changed since we met. She was just bored, and it was obvious she didn't care who knew it. In a place like Malibu Beach, you get to know people fast, or not at all. I was sitting with the kingpin of them all, the artist, Arturo Rienzi. It wasn't hard to figure him out. You might call him an egomaniac. Art is like the artist himself. Perhaps uh, nobody can understand him. I wouldn't be too sure about that. We used to be together. Oh. Now she'll do anything to destroy me. She hates me because she's jealous of Lori. May I tell you something? Yeah. Laurie is jealous too. She's very fond of me, Anna. It isn't what you see. It's what you feel. You see a tangle of lines and blotches called Wife Malibu. You hear Dr. Glopius playing an eccentric piano. You watch Rienzi studiously at work sketching. And what do you feel? You feel there's something wrong. And it isn't only the painting. By 11 o'clock, the party seemed to have scattered away. For no reason I can think of, Laurie and I were together, looking at the ocean. Brian told me he's known you a long time. You could say that. You're different than the others. Tell me, who are you? What do you do? Nothing special. And I'm very much like the others. I eat, drink, and breathe, and know differently. That isn't what I meant. Today I watched you studying each one of us. You're very exciting. I like excitement. Fast automobiles, people, flying, skin diving. Anything that can be called a challenge. What happens when you lose? all over again. I profit by my mistakes. Did Brian show you his family jewelry? Huh? Did you think it was very elegant? Very handsome. Don't you think it's silly to keep things like that locked up in a vault where nobody can enjoy them? <laughs> yes, I suppose it is. They were mine. I'd wear them all the time. Even in swimming. <laughs> they might not last long. Turo's going to paint with him. Brian told me. Brian says I persuaded him to have the picture painted. But it wasn't my idea, it was his. What do you think about Turo as an artist? Frankly. No, don't tell me. I don't care whether you believe he can paint or not. Arturo's different than the others. He's exciting and he has talent. The way I feel I'm helping. Can you understand that, Michael? Brian and I have been married a month. We only met two months ago. You've known him for years. You must know him much better than I do, right? I doubt that, but why? I thought you could give me the answer. To what? Why did he marry me? Why did you marry him? I thought he was exciting and we'd travel together and never know dullness. Michael, why do you think Brian married me? Because I suppose he loves you. I don't believe it. 
Why? Don't you think I'd know? Would you like to kiss me? Not particularly. For charity? Just to give me reassurance? You're not a charity. You don't need reassurance. See you later. As I left, I noticed the time was 11.30. It was a couple of hours later that I saw her again. I was walking on the beach when I saw something in the surf. too big to have been caused by a bullet or a knife. If it were a painting, you could have called it murder, Malibu, knife. It's against the law to move a body. But what do you do when the tide's coming in and time's running out? The beach was deserted. The house had seemed deserted too when I left it to go for a walk. I didn't know where they all were, and at the time I wasn't even curious. But now it made a difference made a big difference. The tide couldn't wait, but I figured the police could. With a little luck in the next few hours, I figured on getting the right answers. A few minutes later, I headed for the living room. They were playing a game of charades, and Glopius was performing. Balloon. Trees? Help us. A zero. We're playing the game. Uh -huh. Dr. Glopius is acting out six words. You know how the game works, don't you? He's acting out the words of a song title or an advertising slogan or something, and we've got to guess it. Go on with the first word, Globe. Where's Lori? I don't know, and I don't care. I want to see her. Why don't you stop being a fool? Sleep? I looked at Dr. Glopius again and wondered, as I said, death. You're right. I was doing, oh, death, where is thy sting? Brian, I'm tired of this silly game, and I'd like to try and explain my new theory of art and design. Now, where's the screen in the projector? It's in the closet. Mike, meet me in the study. Sure. What's that? Oh, nothing. Let me see it. It's a sort of lucky piece. Does it bring you luck? Mm hmm Sometimes. What is it, a fox? A wolf? A dog? It depends. Right now, it looks like a bloodhound. Come in, Mike. Shut the door and sit down. What's wrong? Stone's been stolen. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. I knew it. I knew something I guess was going to happen. I just didn't expect it so soon. Well, take it easy, Brian. Start from the beginning, will you? Look, let's not waste time talking about it. I want those diamonds back. It's up to you, Mike. What do you want me to do? Gather your guests together and make a pretty speech about returning the jewels and all will be forgiven? No. Be much better to call the police. I don't want to do that. I told you I don't want to be embarrassed. Besides, getting the jewels back shouldn't be so difficult. Besides myself, only two other people in the house knew the location and combination of the safe. My wife and you. Why would Laurie steal them? In a way, they belong to her. Well, I don't mean to imply that Laurie stole them. Let's just say that she's emotional. She told me once that it's a great pity Rienzi didn't have a great deal of money. I don't get the connection. What's that got to do with diamonds? Don't you see what I'm getting at? Lori is painted by Rienzi and the collection's worth a fortune. Maybe she thought that... Oh, I don't know. I'm all mixed up. I'm no detective. Besides... If Lori didn't take them, 
The next most logical person is you. Tell me more. I know some things about you, Mike. Do you indeed? Your reputation, I mean. Go on. You're known both here and in Europe as an adventurer. That's not very strange. It's what I am. An unscrupulous adventurer? I have my scruples, Race. Do they include stealing diamonds from your friends? You naturally assume if Laurie didn't take them, I stole them, huh? Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm all mixed up. I only meant that if you did take them as a joke or something and they were to be returned, nothing more would be said about it. I've got a suggestion for you. Well, what's that? You've got a gun. Why did you shoot yourself? When I got back to the living room, Dr. Glopius, the art critic, was expounding his theory of art and design with the aid of some photographic slides that weren't any better than your Aunt Agatha might have taken with a box camera. Now, what I'm trying to get is another dimension. Not for photography alone, but more of a stimulant for the artist. Now, here's an example of what I mean. This is the Malibu Beach Firehouse. It's upside down, but that don't make any difference. Now I show you a tree. This is a shot of Laurie. Now the artist has all these pictures in his mind, and in his mind he combines them like this. He remembers a tree. He remembers a firehouse. Now from this pattern, he can choose the elements which appeal to him. As Glopius continued to give forth with his esoteric ideas, I began to wonder what made this weird group of people tick. I asked myself, which of them could murder? The answer was unpleasant. I believed each one of them was capable of murder. Now this is a picture of Brian as a skin diver. Now I'll pick out any other slide at random. Here is Brian again discovering a small undersea cavern. I think Laurie took this picture. It's the big rock offshore. I didn't hear the rest of Glopius's lecture because that underwater slide had given me an idea. slide could be the right answer, but to make it stick, I had to find a pair of flippers, a diving mask, and a spear. It didn't take long. I had expected them to be still wet. They were. found it. Oh, what's on your mind, Mike? Where's your wife? Laurie? Why? She's around somewhere, I suppose. Why? Is this your spear? <laughs> well, suppose it is. And the mask and the flippers, those yours too? I don't get this, Mike. When did you last use this stuff? Yesterday, day before, I don't remember. What's the difference? No, I think you used them tonight, including the spear. With this, I think you stabbed your wife and left her on the beach. Oh, Mike, that's absurd. If this spear fits the hole in Laurie's back, it's not absurd. But then you'd have to find her, would you? Suppose I have found her. No, ah, you couldn't. Why not? Because you left her body in the surf and the tide should have carried it away? The chances were perfect against anyone finding her. But I did find her, Brian. You're lying. Am I? Her body's upstairs in one of the bedrooms of this madhouse. I was banking on the fact that he was frightened and that his aim might not be too good in the dark. His first shot was too close for comfort. On the second shot, his gun must have momentarily jammed. His third shot was a wild miss. Did he came too close? And I realized he made me chase him out into the open. I was in trouble. 
He suddenly stopped to take careful aim. I was lucky, because the spear hit Brian. It hit him hard. This is ridiculous to die a few lousy dollars. What do you mean, Rice? I need a lot of money. Those diamonds went short. I hid them in a chink in a rock out there, about 50 feet down, where no one could ever find them. But Laurie caught me at it. I had to kill him, Mike. You understand that, don't you? You're not going to die, Race. At least not yet. You didn't kill your wife for money, either. You were jealous of Rienzi. You were going to frame him and Laurie with that phony theft. Look, Mike, I didn't mean to kill her. I'll recover the diamonds. I'll give them to you. I'll take the loss. I don't need the money. That's a pretty good offer, but you're forgetting... That... What? My wife is at it now. No one will ever know. Laurie was always doing silly things. We'll just say that she disappeared. Nobody will doubt it. She hadn't been happy with me anyway. Sounds fairly logical. <laughs> then it's a deal. I'll fix my shoulder and... We'll go put Laurie back with her. Tied a little rest. It won't work, Race. You see, you forgot one thing. Forgot? What? My scruples. I can walk. Shots. Brian, what happened? And call the police right away. Oh, the police upset me, if you don't mind. Take it easy. We'll all wait here. What's going on? What are you doing? Don't you remember? I told you earlier this evening. I'm a bloodhound. <laughs> 